Emilia, co-founder and CEO of Somo and Tanganeza. So at Somo, we work with entrepreneurs coming from marginalized communities. We provide them with the tools that aren't usually accessible in their areas to be able to build and grow businesses. We do this by first providing them with knowledge to get started, um, both through hands-on training programs and through digital tools that we've created. We then help them by investing in their businesses directly and then providing them with tools um, to be able to track their businesses over time and be able to access additional financing. Finally, we support entrepreneurs with being able to access markets outside of their local communities. We start at the production phase, um, which is where Tanganeza comes in, where we help our entrepreneurs with getting the quality they need their products to be and certain certifications they need to enter new markets. We then help them with the printing, branding, labeling, and packaging of their products to make them look a certain way, and then helping them with the final partnerships. So our new project with Tenganeza is a production facility where entrepreneurs are able to share operating costs with significantly being able to reduce those operating costs and have access to all the machinery they need to produce. So we just launched our first facility where you are right now, um, where we have food and hygiene businesses in Nairobi. My company started last year where I was funded by Some Africa. I thank Some Africa for coming in and helping other entrepreneurs and me one of them i say kudos to some africa uh, so we want to be able to expand this model across the country and uh yeah and get into new markets so one of the new areas that we want to be able to start up a facility in is in mombasa as SOMO, uh, we currently work across three different cities. We work across Nairobi, Mombasa, and Kisumu. Uh, we support entrepreneurs in those cities. We've so far trained over 600 people with our hands-on training programs and over 1,500 with our digital tools. My name is Ida Gwere. I'm uh, the co-founder of the Tengeneza Space. So the Tengeneza Space was born out of this need that we saw MSMEs facing when they were trying to grow and scale up. Uh, one of the main challenges is they really struggled to get uh, capital to buy equipment so that they could increase their production um, because they essentially wanted to get into new markets. What we're solving for is essentially a lot of businesses can be able to ramp up their production pretty quickly without bearing that upfront cost of buying machine and equipment and also we're introducing them to new formalized markets. Uh, what we are looking forward for getting from SOMO in Puriseth is access to market, which already they have, they, we are, through SOMO, they have helped us through a lot, let's say like 70%, but there is a bigger market out there for honey, and so we are looking forward for them helping us to get access to markets, and this mostly will be for coffee shops and other supermarkets, because as a small business, most of the people who run these, uh, these companies, coffee shops, supermarkets, they don't trust like young people like me. So with the grant, we hope to launch a similar facility in Mombasa and serve the network of MSMEs that we have there. MSMEs make up up to 80% of uh, jobs created in Kenya. And I think we really do need to address this uh, challenge that many people face in trying to grow. Um, and so Tengeneza is really at the forefront of trying to solve this and we're really, we really hope we can get the grant funding so that we can do this.